Welcome to the channel today. Today is just a quick gas mileage update number two following the install of the Method Race wheels and BFG tires. If you're new to the channel, please look in the description below and you can get a link to what I'm talking about as far as the wheel and tires go and other cross track videos that I've done in the past. Quick recap uh, before we get into the numbers. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have an 18 cross track. They come with 18 inch wheels, uh, 225 tires. I put about 2000 miles on the stock setup and averaged between 32 and 33 miles per gallon, pretty much every tank um, stock. I switched out uh, probably about 800 miles ago to the 15 inch method race wheels, the 502 VT specs and 215, 75, 15, uh, BFG KO2 all terrains. And the first tank of gas that I put through the car averaged 29.1 miles per gallon. And that was on a kind of an unusual driving cycle for me. Um, there was a lot of off-roading, there was a lot of filming, so that meant a lot of idling and drone footage and taking pictures and stuff like that with the car on. So I kind of knew I was going to get a little bit better mileage than that. And today, at over three quarters of a tank used, I'm averaging 32.5 miles per gallon with the new setup. So I think that's incredible. Very happy with that. Um, I, I don't think, if you're looking at this setup and you're worried about mileage, I don't think you have to. Um, I think if you drive the car like you normally do, you're going to get very good mileage and um, I really can't complain about it. Now keep in mind, these mileages are calculated just through the computer. This is not me using math and calculating miles per gallon. And if you don't know, most of the time with Subarus, you're going to be at least two miles per gallon different. And I've had reports of some folks like five miles per gallon different, which I think is really unusual. I've never seen anything like that with my three Subarus. but. I've, it's more than two people have talked about it. So um, keep that in mind. I'm just using the computer for reference so you know where I'm coming from. And uh, if you're, if you're, again, if you're looking for this setup and you don't need to worry about fitment, they fit fine. They don't seem to be rubbing at all, even with mud flaps. I mean, it's possible they're rubbing the mud flaps at full lock, you know, with the car tilting and stuff like that and a U-turn or something. But I see no indication of it and I certainly don't hear it or feel it. But I just want to throw that out there as a caveat. I, I can't film when I'm doing that, but stopped, full lock, there is no, there is no rubbing that I've noticed. Um, they are about 2.4 pounds heavier per wheel and tire. So all four corners, 2.4 pounds difference, which to me is kind of insignificant. I haven't noticed any acceleration differences with them. Um, slight bit of handling difference initially. At this point, I think I'm used to it and I don't really notice it anymore. Um, but with the squishier sidewall, you know, three inches more, you're going to notice a little bit, tiny bit of understeer uh, as compared to stock. But again, it's not huge. The biggest thing that you have to contend with, as I've mentioned before, is the noise. And you're looking at about five or six decibels difference between stock. So these guys are louder. And if you love how quiet your cross track is, just keep that in mind before you go with this tire, because you're not going to be quiet anymore. <laughs> All you're going to hear is tire noise. Um, it, it's not like gouge out your eyes loud, but it's definitely louder and it takes some getting used to. At this point, I think I'm pretty used to it. And for me, the trade-off is worth it. I'd like to go off road at least once or twice a month. So um, it, I think it's going to be good in that sense. I do miss how quiet the car was, but I kept the stock wheels and tires for long trips and I'll probably switch those around um, if I go on a you know five, six hour highway drive. But for everyday use, these are great, not a problem at all. So um, as usual, I thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Cheers and have a good night.